Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to create a data center in vCenter 8 version. And before going to jump into this data center creation, we can quickly understand what is vCenter and what is vCenter data center and how to create a data center in vCenter 8. And finally, we can talk about what are all the vCenter data center use cases? OK, and in this demo environment, I'm using a vSphere ESXi host 8 and vCenter server 8, and we are going to create a vCenter level data center. And one example to running this ESXi host on HPE compute nodes. OK, and let's start with the first two point. What is vCenter? So as per the VMware, vCenter means vCenter is an advanced server management software that provides a centralized platform for controlling vSphere environment. That means ESXi host and virtual machines for visibility across hybrid clouds because vCenter have a capability to integrate with hybrid cloud environments like VMC on AWS, VMware Cloud on AWS and VMC on Google Cloud Engine and all also the Azure, similarly for Azure as well. And in other words, to understand this definition, let's say we have a three ESXi host and this three ESXi host, we need a physical hardware. Let's say, for example, I'm to a HP DL380, three servers. When we install ESX on each three boxes, individual boxes, and to manage this three hosts, every time we have to log into individual ESXi host and manage the specific ESX environment. For example, let me quickly log into our lab environment. Let's say I log into our lab system. We have a three ESX host, ESX1, ESX2, and ESX3. I want to find out where our vCenter is running means. First, we can log into our ESX host. We can look for a, any virtual machines running on this host. Let's say ESX3 currently in virtual machine count is zero. And similarly, log into ESX2, virtual machine count is zero. And log into ESX1, we can check that where our virtual machine is running. And example is our virtual machine name is vCenter. So here we have a vCenter VM. But to find out a virtual machine specific VM, every time our management option uh, verification option is we need to log into individual ESX host. For our easy understanding, I took the example of three ESX. Even though if we have a 30 plus ESX host to find out the specific virtual machine, or if you want to do a, any of the ESX host configuration changes, it's not an easy job, it's a challenging. So that is the reason to address this situation, to manage multiple ESX hosts, and VMware come up with a solution called vCenter Server. So vCenter Server, in short form, we call it as VC or VCSA, vCenter Server Appliance. And the purpose of vCenter Server is to manage vSphere environments. vSphere environment means it includes ESX hosts and virtual machines. So not only uh, few virtual, n number of virtual machines. OK, so that is the importance of vCenter server. OK, and the next point is. What is vCenter data center? So a virtual data center is a container for all inventory objects. Inventory objects means ESX host, virtual machines, and also the networking objects, storage objects, and so on. And required to complete a fully functional environment and operate virtual machines. OK, so the data center logical diagram is same like our physical data center icon. So even on within our vCenter, we can see the same icon. OK, and another point is we can create multiple data centers to organize group of a environment to meet different user needs. So multiple data centers means suppose in our organization we have a multiple locations. Let's say first location we call it as data center one or we call it as a specific data center name and another location is data center two and data center three. So same it's always depends on our customer environment. Suppose some customers have only two data centers. So we call it as DC1 and DC2. Suppose some customers have more than five data centers. We can create a DC1, 2, 3, 4, 5, five data centers we can create within our vCenter level. 
okay so another key point is each data center has its own esxi host host means esxi host virtual machines templates data stores and networks okay so that is the virtual center mean it's a diff it's like a logical container only okay now it's a time to how to create a data center in vcenter 8 so we already let's log into our lab system we found the vcenter server is running on esx1 and our vcenter server ip address is when you click on vcenter you can connect with either host name or ip address let's say our ip address is ends with dot 45 so let me connect to our vcenter server so i just log into the vcenter server so once we log into the vcenter server how we can create a data center in vCenter it is select the vCenter, right click, we can see the option for new data center. This is one method. Another one, select the vCenter server in the right pan, go to the actions tab, we can see new data center. Okay, any option we can use. So let's say select new data center. So while creation of data center, by default, we can default name is showing as data center, but the naming convention can be based on our organization requirement. Suppose if you we are creating a data center is first data center we can create a dc-01 so this is our first data center so dc1 is created and even if you want to create a multiple data center right click here and you can choose the dc2 let's say dc-2 so dc2 also created and similarly if you want to create another data center also same procedure let's say dc hyphen zero three and just let's make it unique naming so here also we can make it as zero two okay so we have a dc1 dc2 and dc3 if you see the data center icon is dc icon but currently within our data center there is no host virtual machine cluster network data so all the items showing as zero if you want to add the host right click the data center and we can add the host okay so let's back to our vcenter uh, slide so we uh, we noticed how to create a data center in vcenter 8 and for testing purpose we created a three data centers dc1 dc2 and dc3 now let's talk about what is the main use cases in the real time scenarios so when we create a data center for each organization unit in our enterprise based on the environment but the naming conventions may vary from one customer to another customer locations suppose i am taking a high level example of four use cases let's talk about the first use case so use case one we can create data centers depends on the locations like site a one data center and similarly site b and site c instead of dc1 name we can also mention site a site b and site c here site means your location name suppose your data center is in singapore you can mention as singapore data center if your data center is in us you can mention as us data center for site b and another data center is in india you can mention as india data center okay so for easy understanding i mention as site a b and c you can replace with your location names and use case two it is mainly depends on the environments also environment means we can create data center for test and development one data center and production one data center name and another data center for disaster recovery so the importance of this one is all your test esx host virtual machine you can create within the test and development data center and your production esx host and virtual machine you can create within under production data center similarly for disaster recovery data center normally disaster recovery data center sometimes if your organization do not have a much budget they will also use test and development data center multi-purpose they will also use for dr if you have a enough setups you can also use separate data center for dr you can isolate or you can combine within the test and dev also okay and use case three it is mainly 
they divided based on the compartments. Compartment means, let's say one data center specifically for management compartment and another data center specifically for workload compartment. Management means all our infrastructure VMs like uh, we have Active Directory, DNS, DHCP, and also vCenter server, any of the SFTP servers, file servers, monitoring servers. This all comes under the management. And workload means all our customer specific business related or project related application servers. All are comes under the workload data center. OK, and another use case scenario is depends on the zones also. So zones means we have a multiple types of zones like uh, intranet zone and internet zone. Let's say within intranet zone again, we can create two compartments intranet management intranet workload workload in short form WL and management short form MGMT and similarly another zone is internet zone. So all your internet management servers you can create under internet management data center and all your internet workload customer applications and all you can create those specific VMs and container applications you can run within under the internet workload data center. But this logical names may vary from one organization to another organization. Similarly, one customer to another customer. OK, so this names renaming is also same like within our lab, how we created multiple DC. If you want to rename also just right click here and rename it. Suppose you want to name it as a site. A. You can just mention as you can use either lower case or upper case. It doesn't matter. So site A and same if you want to change the another name, just right click the data center name and you can change it to site B. And the same way you can change the another third data center also site C. OK, so that is how we can uh, create the data centers within our V center, but the naming conventions and all depends on your customer use case scenario. If the customer recommended for a, any of the compartment wise, we can create data center as management and another data center for workload. Suppose customer looking for a zone wise data centers, you can create as intranet to two, two data centers and internet two data centers. OK, and I given a high level overview of data center use cases within the four use case examples, but sometimes the naming conventions may vary from one scenario to another scenario. OK, so hope you understand this. Uh, uh, how to create a data center in vCenter and also the data center use case examples. OK, so that's it for today. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.